hello how are you um this is molly lit from within and i am raw um no lighting to help with um the way things are supposed to look online and just wanting to connect to the group and let you know that um, there have been a lot of things on my mind lately about this group, but a few of the important things that I want to stress is that this group is here for everyone, that we are all going through the same thing. There is, there is no way you can say that we are not all here at this time in history on this planet if we didn't all have a similar purpose of being here and why we're here, which is to awaken and to connect and to live our best self with our highest self to take care and heal our wounds so that we can create that ripple for others wanting to do that and to help heal what's going on in this world. Um, and I truly, fully believe that. And no one has to feel like they have to be alone. But it can definitely feel that way because of things we feel we have to let go of. Um, when we there's either family members or people in our lives that are um, dimming our light, that are um, putting blocks around being able to be our full authentic self um and and that's not easy this this is not only change but this is um a, a way of life and lifestyle and things that that we're just used to but there's there's this feeling that's bubbling up inside where we cannot um that our insides and our outsides not come together anymore where we can't pretend that things feel comfortable when they don't and that when someone's dimming our light and um, we just brush it off anymore and so when we start to put down these barriers and create discernment and spend time with people who light us up versus ones that don't or ones that break us down and tear us down versus ones that lift us up and support us um, we can feel very alone, we can feel very isolated, um, which is also part of the the head thinking, right? The ego, um, the worries, the fears, the separation, um, that linear masculine energy where when we drop down to the heart and the heart, um, higher heart and connecting with um, divine feminine energy, which is the lens of compassion and kindness and nurturing, um, inclusivity of, of being one with all and, and with each other, that there is no separation, there is no divide, it's not black and white, it's very fluid, that this is, this is that first part of awareness, right? This is that first part of, of being aware that one, you're not alone, that you don't have to go through this alone, that maybe there isn't that um, protective figure or nurturing figure in your life or, um, you know, support person who once was there and maybe has changed or transitioned, but that this is, um, you know, have a community, right? And that's what this community is, lit from within, that we're all going through these experiences together as we're growing together and evolving together and moving into what lights us up together and bringing us closer to those holy hell yeses. That's what I want in my life and those are the people I want around. And and where we continue to move forward into, that, that makes us shine. Um, that, that's what this is. And that's what this, um, the signature program work is that, that you can have an opportunity to do. And I just want to let everybody know that I am working on getting that up into a digital platform. This has been a very difficult challenge with trying to do things to do with technology when Mercury's in retrograde because it absolutely affects it. And 
it delays it, um, which has created more opportunities for me to sit back and just take a step back and rest um, and just pause and see the bigger picture and what all is needed and where it's needed um, before moving forward again. So it is coming, I promise. Uh, this feels more like a fall transition, working with the cycles, right? The cycles of Mother Nature, the cycles um, of the moon, the cycles of the ocean, of the natural cycles we have um, and that we experience too of the shedding and letting go in order to create room um, and growth for, for new. And um, yeah, it's a really exciting time and I'm, I'm really blessed and grateful for all of you that have decided to join and participate and just be a part of in whatever way feels best to you at this time. If it's being a part of the, um, the group, if you're interested in the classes, if you're wanting to do more one-on-one -on -one work with me, I'm so looking forward to that, um, as well as any sort of um, mentorship you're looking into. If this is um, work that you're doing with clients where you're finding yourself in a mental health position or a... Um, um, therapeutic setting and you're wanting to incorporate more of the spirituality and the energy work and the, the connection, right? Not just of talk therapy, but you're wanting to integrate um, the holistic arts into healing, then um, I would love to create that mentorship um, opportunity with you too and, and, and help birth whatever you are wanting to bring out into your community. So... I really just wanted to touch base and touch in with everybody and send love and this has been, you know, this is a really powerful time right now with the Lionsgate that we were going th through and on the tail end of this um, um, full moon solar eclipse and the, the three windows that were open and we're just coming to a close with that um, at the end of this week. And so that will give everybody a chance to regroup and to find breath again and just know that whatever you're experiencing right now, it's, it's in the moment, but it will pass. It's like that wave that comes in and moves back out. It brought in the information and the messages that it needed to in order for us to kind of process and have insight on it and kind of figure out where we want to go from here, right? And, and provide a little more direction of what that looks like. Um, and the very first part of the signature program will will uh, work with exactly that same thing. Um, goddess Isis, uh, the Egyptian goddess, she is the one that has guide has been able to guide and direct me um, through my professional practice and building this practice of, of bringing women together and individuals together to build in this feminine energy and qualities. Um, of seeing through the heart lens and her her message that I want to continue to share with all of you um, is a message of she shall always prevail and that's that's what we're all in right now right we're shedding and letting go of what's not working what is but regardless of what is happening that she you the divine is always there and continuing to help us prevail, help you prevail and continue to rise. And so we are rising, we are rising together and we are creating this community together um, of, of not just sisterhood because it's not just for uh, gender specific, um, that this is divine energy that is in both male and female. And so not only is it for the a female um, population, but that also men who who protect and 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 have that compassion um for women going through this and non-binary um you know not gender specific anyone this is literally for anyone this is so much beyond labels so much beyond labels this is something higher this is something bigger um this is non-divided and it's for all of us as we evolve on this world, on this planet, at this time, at this place, um, to do good and to, to shine our most unique light um, and to help others shine. 
So I look forward to talking with you more, um, but I just wanted to, to pop in and let you know that things are still moving and things are still going, and I am here, and I'm glad that all of you are here and that we will continue to move um, forward together. So thank you so much, and thank you for um, being a part of this journey with me. Uh, the light in you honors the light of me. So thank you so much. Namaste.